Hi guys. For those that don't know me, I'm Sharon. Um, I work down at Lawn Community Nurse and Practice Nurse. And today we're on our walk. Uh, we're heading from um, Point Addis on the Surf Coast Walk to Anglesey, which is down there. Um, this is one of my favourite spots on, actually it is my favourite spot on the Surf Coast Walk, uh, Point Addis. Um, that way, looking back that way, is towards Bells Beach. So Point Addis is about halfway between Bells and Anglesey. Um, and it's beautiful. If you haven't been down here, um, do yourself a favour and head down to Point Addis. It's stunning. I love it. Um, so yeah, we've got about 7Ks, I think, to get from Point Addis to um, Anglesey. And then I'll turn around and head back. So I hope you guys enjoy um, Point Addis to Anglesey. Have a great day. See ya. Hi everyone, just filming at the Koori Cultural Walk at the Point Addis Car Park, which is a famous uh, place for surfers. Let's um, take a look down at the beach. Point Addis Beach, and I'm walking today with my little friend Archie, who's my Maltese Shih Tzu. He'll be accompanying me on the trail today. Hi, I'm Hilary. Beautiful day down here at the Point Addis Kuru Cultural Walk. Behind me is the uh, information page, which I'm going to show you in further detail. The sign here tells us about uh, the Point Addis Kuru Cultural Walk. It tells us that Australia has been inhabited in these parts for over 70,000 years. Of the Kuris living around the Geelong area in Werribee, there was 35 clans, each with their own distinct language, culture and religious beliefs. This sign tells us about the possum skin cloaks. So possums were in great abundance here and the skins were dried and cleaned using a sharpened edge of a mussel shell. Sinews from the tail and bone bodkin were used to sew up to 30 skins together. As the sinew dried, the skins were pulled tightly together forming a waterproof cloak that was slung across the shoulders. If you look up into the distance you can just see the beautiful tall trees and shrubbery underneath. What you can't experience today is the gorgeous smells that are all every sort of meter or two you get a different scent of the different trees and plants. Absolutely gorgeous. Gentle ascent. You can hear birds. Beautiful spiders web up in that tree. And Archie's leading the way up the hill. Take it away, Archie. Some information on this sign talks, talks about the shelter. So there were well positioned warns or campsites, revisited, revisited seasonally to provide shelter from prevailing winds. And reliable sources of food and fresh water. A lot of it's overgrown now, but they were certainly there's evidence of middens in this area. Yeah, what are you looking at? Hey, it's getting to the top of the hill now. You see a nice resting area with another signpost. Yeah. You can just see the sea through the, the trees video of the grass trees that stand like centurions across the path here. Absolutely beautiful as they catch the sun. What do you think Arch? Hey, what do you think? Come on love, let's go. This plaque talks about food and medicine plants. You've got your Yapirit, which is early Nancy. Um, they were a, a vegetable diet and jerring hap, golden wattle, seed pods high in protein and the gum was sweet and nourishing and added to drinks. And the one I probably need to get into me is the moolah or the bracken. The leaves were used to treat rheumatism, roots and young stems relieve pain and aching from insect bites. So both of those things would be really helpful for me. Those lovely grass trees.
So lots of people walk along the track today, enjoying the fresh air. In the distance you can see the wattle flower. Hey guys, it's Sharon again. I just had to show you, this is sort of right at the start of our um, journey from Point Addis to Anglesey, but I just had to show you the beach. And that's Anglesey in the background. Pretty cool. See ya. Me again. So we're about one and a half k's in and we've just come from that direction behind me, Point Addis, along the beach, which is pretty soft sand, but yeah, um, we're good. I didn't get my feet wet, so that was good. I'm just going to spin around here so you can see all the beautiful bushland and heading that direction towards Anglesey. So I reckon about, I don't know, six k's to go, something like that. All right, see you there. A little bit of boardwalk, just to mix it up. A little, uh, sorry I'm puffing, different section of the um, walk between Point Addis and Anglesey. So we're just um, heading towards Umarilla Scout Camp. So now we're four k's in on a long surf coast walk between uh, Point Addis and Anglesey and we've just gone past the Umarilla Scout Camp and heading down these steps and it's so nice out here you have to you have to come and do it and we're heading that way where's Anglesey there so about three to go here we are in Anglesey pretty nice seven k's later we're in Anglesey this is at the river mouth and Back behind us is the beach. Sorry, over the sand dune, can't see it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, my little uh, trip from Point Addis to Anglesey along the Surf Coast Walk. Um, yeah, get out and do it. It's awesome. I love being out here. One of my favourite things to do. So uh, do yourself a favour and head on out along the Surf Coast Walk. Thanks, guys. See ya.